So we're in Fredericks, Maryland. Let me show you what's going on here. Ken is working underneath there. Tom is actually working the polisher. We got him to do some work. So he's worked this whole surface up here. So this wing has some oxidation just over time. Um, you can see how the reflection isn't the most clear. After the paint correction that you see happening here, that oxidation is removed, it's on this pad, and the end result is something like this. It's 11.47. Tom uh, went home for the evening, but he helped polish the wing. Uh, they're gonna be back with videographers tomorrow. And we were talking about, you know, as having him operate the rotary at 600 RPM, and he was talking about how his friend was using it at maximum speed, and I was like, oh, you probably got a lot of sling then. He's like, yeah, it's like a crime scene. And we started looking around, and you can see all the splatter that would have come off of this. Then we found the um, crime weapon here. And splatter everywhere but look that's set the max maximum speed that's just way too fast so there's holograms all over the paint and there's really no good correction that happens because all the polish is slinging off and it doesn't have time to do anything it's 1 29 a.m. we're wrapping up for the night here uh, this plane is correcting very nicely, making good progress on it. It's relatively easy to work with. We just have to make sure to keep the polishing pads clean because we're uh, picking up a lot of oxidized paint residue, which renders these pads inoperative. So lots of pad switching. Ken's been kicking ass on the underside. Um, top of the, this wing is done. It's wiped down. It's ready to coat. Kind of from the door on back is paint corrected. I'm saving some work here and there to showcase tomorrow um, a photo and video crew is coming in and I wanna make sure to leave uh, enough before and afters to show that. So we're gonna head back to the hotel. Luckily it's nearby, but it is raining. Uh, sounds like a lot of rain. We'll see you tomorrow morning. All right, so it's 8.30, we just got here, it's still raining. Um, we're gonna continue work on the plane. We got a videographer coming in today as well. So we're gonna set up a few demo areas on the other side of the plane. This side is just about done. We got a little bit left on the fuselage. Um, back is done there. This wing's done. Ken's been working on the other side of it, so. Lunch. The videographer came in, got some shots of the process and a little bit about Aviana's uh, history and uh, kind of how I came about doing this. The fuselage is done, the wing is done. Let's take a look at the underside of the wing. A lot shinier than it has any business being. We're gonna get some lunch, try and stay dry, and we'll be back later. It is, uh, it's almost 2 p.m. and it's time for Ken to go back to Minnesota. So he, he got a limousine waiting for him. We're gonna drive him back over there, but. Yeah, got a lot shot. done with this guy here. It's amazing how much faster you can work when you have help. Uh, it's not just like twice as fast, it's probably three times as fast. Because it also forces me to work and not get distracted filming things, for example. So, like the vlog. The vlog is awesome. <laughs> he watches it. I do. He subscribed. I did. Are you subscribed? I am. Okay. Well, it's important to subscribe, so if you like the blog, please subscribe. Hit the like button, comment below. Ken's gone. But the underside of the left wing isn't done yet. So I'm gonna have to do it.
So here's the gloss we're getting back out of this aircraft. You can see the wing reflection in there. So this little section here is the last bit of original red, um, the original faded red. Almost all this fuselage is done except for here in the lower panels. A few things going on. So we have oxidation, but I'm also seeing a lot of holograms or kind of polisher induced dullness. Um, that, that's just contributing to the haze. That's all coming out very nicely. You know, it, it's not gonna be perfect, but to get those deeper scratches out, we're gonna remove so much more paint, and, and we're also gonna um, heat up the panels more, and it's gonna take a lot longer, and you know, most people don't shine lights like this at aircraft, so. Hopefully later this evening, um, I'm gonna be getting coating on this plane, and then tomorrow we're gonna switch over to the RV-12, so we'll have to swap hangers, and get the other plane in there. And that's gonna be a very different paint experience from this one. So this is more, how can we make an older plane look really good? The other, the other one is gonna be, how can we take a new plane and make it look exceptional? So two different levels of service, but both very worthwhile and uh, very satisfying to work on. It's been raining the whole time. It's either really, really hot or rain. Those are the two weather conditions here. Ah. There's rain right there. Just comes ah. cold and rainy outside. It's eight o'clock. Took a little two hour break. Just doing nothing which is nice. There, uh, not that much work left, but it's been a long day, so we'll see how much we get done. Um, need to get up, get the vertical stabilizer, underside of the horizontal stabilizer, and boom, then we're gonna coat. So eight o'clock, four hours of work. That's almost like half a work day left till midnight, six hours till 2 a.m. Let's see how far we can get. We're gonna start panel wiping the Bonanza. Do, 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 do. It's really glossy. So I'm just gonna start in the front, work my way back. Once the fuselage is done, we're gonna coat it and then we'll see where we're at. So the fuselage is coated. The vertical stabilizer is coated. It is 146. So it's time for me to go to bed. I'm gonna come back tomorrow, finish the wings. Um, you know what, actually the horizontal stabilizer is coated too. So really it's just the wings, but I'm super tired. So I'm gonna pack up, head out, and just like, Show off the plane a little bit as I'm walking out because it looks insane. Look at that. But yeah, I'm going to bed. See you tomorrow. Another day in Maryland. Another rainy, rainy day. Be nice to like see the sun and not have to scurry to my car every time I get out of it. Um, but luckily I'm working inside and the roof's not leaking, so can't complain about that. Um, the Bonanza fuselage is done, tail's done, just need to do the wings. We were planning on swapping it around with the RV-12, but because it's raining like crazy, um, we'll have to see if we can find the gap in the weather or if we're gonna have to sit on that plane a little bit longer to let it cure. So. Check out how much slickness this coating adds. So we're just going to do this area here. Wipe it on. Make sure it's even. Then we use two towels to wipe it off. Okay. 
Now we take this bottle. This part's not coated. That part's coated. Not coated. Pretty cool. done coating it's still raining outside so I think I'm gonna pick up a little bit in here take a little break and then um, go get the other car or car airplane let me show you something 17 hours 53 minutes I need to be on an airplane we're gonna do another airplane this one's done we're gonna do the RV 12 next that one has more of a clear coat on it. Um, it should be a lot faster paint correction. It's still gonna be pretty tight. Um, probably not gonna sleep all a lot, but we're gonna get it done. is in very excited to work on this it's gonna be a very nice job um, the red is like a metallic red this looks like white but it's actually like a metallic um, almost like a pearl white but it doesn't quite change colors there's metallic flake in there uh, so it's gonna look great in the Sun so as you can see it's wet because of the rain I'm gonna give it a quick wash dry down and we're gonna start paint correction shortly After paint correction, that's before. Up here, you can see a little before and after. Before, a lot of paint defects around here. They're all uh, kind of wipe mark shape, so it's pretty just from washing and drying. We'll take them all out. No big deal. Much better. So it's not like the plane was looking bad, but let me just show you the type of stuff that we're fixing. So the right hand side, I haven't done anything to yet. Let's take a look at the paint. Here's a prime example of how coating is gonna make your plane look better longer. Um, this is the front. This is where all the bugs are gonna hit. You see all the kind of scrub marks and scratches and things like that. Um, takes a lot of work to get those bugs off sometimes. So we did a paint correction to get rid of that damage so you can see how clean the reflection is. But once it's coated, it's gonna take so much less effort to get those bugs off so we don't scratch the finish again.
coated. Um, gotta do the wings, gotta do the underside, and then this will be done. It is actually midnight, Tuesday, September 11th. And um, I've, I have to take a moment to appreciate the fact that general aviation is still alive um, despite what happened in 2001. I'm glad organizations such as AOPA, where I'm at, um, you know, they, they made sure to, to work with authorities and, and, and kind of the general public on perceptions of, you know, why should we still be able to fly airplanes? Um, so, so I'm thankful for that and, and you know, just wanted to point out the, uh, point out the constants that I'm at AOPA on September 11th flying out of Washington DC tomorrow. So that's, it's interesting. They didn't plan it that way certainly, but happy to be here. do include supplies to take care of it and uh, properly maintain the coating. It's uh, it's about 3 a.m. and I got a flight at 6 something a.m. so um, probably should get going. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. We've got more awesome videos coming up and uh, we'll catch you at the next one.